All right, well, we're going to install Mesh Central on an Ubuntu cert running 2204.1. And I have it running from ESXi, but you can run it from Proxmox or whatever. Well, that's rebooting. Make sure that CD pulls out. information and put it into the server. All right, let's start with adding the Node.js repository. So sudo add apt It's going to automatically do an update, and then we're just going to install Node.js first. Install NPM. Alright, so let's verify this is running properly. Let's check the version, Node.js, 12.22. Um, let's do version npm also. Nope, so we're straight. Alright, if you recall, the instructions have installing MongoDB, but it's specifically for over 100 systems. I'm not managing over 100 systems on this uh, installation, but if you are, you're going to want to install Mongo uh, database and then uh, set it up to automatically start when um, you re reboot the computer or whatnot. All right, so we're going to go further down, port permissions. Um, We need Mesh Central to talk on ADM 443. Oh, so, so to accomplish this, we need to discover where Node.js comes from. So 
we're going to go back into our system and we're going to modify uh, to utilize the ports below that. So let's go. So let's start with. We're running from here, so we're going to do sudo set cap cap underscore net underscore bind underscore service. I should see what I'm typing. P US. Alright, and then now we're going to go off and start the install. And we install this with the npm install. Oh, that was actually super fast. Let's go ahead and tell it to start. So let's do node. All right, it says mesh essentials running on HTTP uh, server 443. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this annoying little tent. Let's go ahead and we'll go to 192.168. No, this is 55.20. And it's 443. I'm going to get the run in the wrong certificate error because this one is signed by my central, which that's a good sign that I do have access. Right, I do not have an account, so let's set up an account and we're going to go with test test at test.org um, and then I'm going to do password create account and we're in. All right. That was super easy. I have access to my devices, accounts, events, users, and we'll just do a quick check of my server, check the version, and I'm running the latest version. All right, well, let's go down. You see it's all running. I'm going to go back into my server and I'm going to set this up to automatically start the server. So I have to go into here, close out of that baby, ls, and yep. So I'm going to have to let's see what do we have to do. Um, Okay, so first we need to know. Yeah, I'm running as. Uh, oh, okay, so we're gonna nano in here. And this is a fresh install of Ubuntu server minimal, so I don't have to check to see if um, nano's here, but you can use VI or Vim, whatever you want to use. I'm running comstack comstack. Yeah, so let's just do this I figured it wasn't going to work. 
copy and paste it, but we're going to verify all this information is correct. And it looks like it's an exact copy and paste. We're going to edit this file for user to be comstack, group to be comstack. Where it says executive start user working directory. Working directory is And I'm going to go ahead and make a subdirectory inside of this user. Um, I'm just going to call it mess central working directory. So Gotta create that directory to make directory. All right, now we should be able to run our enable command. running. Alright, so now that it's running, let's verify. So let's go into our browser. Let's see if we can log in and we're in. The creator of this project has some amazing tutorials. Uh, they can be found not only on his wiki page, but as well on his GitHub page, which Which should be down here towards the bottom. 